Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. This is a very weird video. Um, I saw the subject matter, and as you see from the uh, the thumbnail, um, and I just, I've got to do this story. It's it's weird, it's funny, um, and I, I can understand before anyone starts complaining, yes, he might have harassed a woman, uh, and that's completely wrong, 100% agree, he shouldn't have done that, if he's done that, if he's done that, we, innocent till proven guilty. Uh, and if he's guilty of that, then fine, he gets his biscuits for that one. But the principle of it is the court has banned him from doing so many things. We'll go through and have a look at what he's not allowed to do. And I think some of it is very weird. Some of it's funny, not being allowed to do certain things. Um, and it's all, this is cases at the magistrate's court. Now, it's already been up to Crown Court. They rejected and said, no, they're not dealing with this. And they sent it back down to the magistrate's court because it's going to be very difficult to to do because what you've got is you're going to try and make it illegal for certain people to wear certain clothing which you're allowing other people to wear and so you've got to handle uh the, the the rights and freedoms it's interesting case from a freedoms point of view put it that way uh but on top of that it's hilarious but we will have a look at it uh, we'll see this guy his name's joshua hunt and see uh what's going on it's only like the preliminary hearing we're not going to get in and we certainly don't know the result of the case yet uh, but it's something I want to follow. This will be funny. Uh, but we'll have a look. And it's, like I say, it's the strange bail conditions that we're going to inspect. But anyway, here goes. Right, now, it's like I say, it's an unusual uh, video. I don't normally do ones like this. But it's just that the subject matter really got me, you know. Um, it is what it is. Uh, anyway, the, uh, the Somerset Gimp suspect is banned from crawling, wriggling, or writhing on the ground before he stands trial in October. Well, you know, it's... It's a very funny thing. How can you... Who's going to police that? Oh, I'm crawling on the ground. Look at me. Oh, I'm having a wriggle. I do like a good rise, me. You know, that's unpoliceable, isn't it? Unless he actually does it in front of a policeman. Um, anyway, Joshua Hunt, 32, is accused of leaping out at victims while wearing his gimp outfit. Probably has to use butter to get into it, you know. They do. They have to use some kind of lube to squeeze in. Uh, he's been banned from crawling, wriggling and writhing on the ground um like i say so you're not allowed to do those things but yeah unpleasable anyway a man suspected of being the somerset gimp now there's even the name of it and it? it's like you've got the boston strangler you know and uh the red river killer uh and things like that the monster of plainsborough and here we got the somerset gimp Arr. um anyway he must not call it have done that so the suspect joshua hunt 32 denies two charges of intentional harassment alarm or distress under section 4a of the public order act uh, now it comes as district judge angela brereton sitting at torton dean magistrates court fixed a half day trial for the case at bristol magistrates court on, this, on october the 22nd now it has already been up to the crown court uh, and the crown court took a look at it looked at everything that was going on and decided oh we don't really want to deal with this it's too small for one and the magistrates thought no, maybe it did. anyway so the crown court said no no no. we'll have a look at it we don't want it and they've bounced it back to the magistrates court so it's got to be dealt now with the magistrates but a half day trial really really oh, that's a long time for what this is isn't it anyway the uh, the charges relate to incidents allegedly committed on the 7th and 8th of may in the bleedham and cleave area of somerset uh, under the terms of the interim order, which will expire in January next year, Hunt is also banned from wearing a mask or possessing one in public place and from wearing black all-in-one clothing at night in public. So he's allowed to wear it at night if he's not in public or he's allowed to wear it during the day. And that's fine. So he can still wander around in his gimp outfit. But um, not wearing the mask. I mean, what if... Covid reared its ugly head again. Then the government said, "Oh, we got to wear a mask," and he goes, "No, no, I've got a court order. I'm not allowed to wear a mask." Uh, will he be able to use that? Will he get away with such a thing? Who knows? It just seems very odd, doesn't it? But he's not allowed to wear his black onesie. That's the main thing. So uh, he does like black. Though. He's wearing a black coat. Isn't he? Do you know he reminds me of an actor called Pip Torrens when he was younger. Pip Torrens is cue ball head now, but uh, yeah. Uh, there's a picture of the gimp. We like the gimp. He's uh, he, he's fine. He's a fine. He just look like man boobs on that gimp, isn't it? Somebody needs to lose maybe a bit of weight. Reminds me of ah, what is it? Not Reservoir Dogs, the other one. Pulp Fiction, isn't it? Gonna get medieval on your ass. Yeah, release the gimp. 
Oh, that's going to be... Yeah, he's going to have that, isn't he? Anyway, Hunt of Claverham, Somerset, had been excused attendance at the case management hearing and was represented by solicitor David Fanson. He was released on unconditional bail until his trial, well, apart from the conditions of not writhing, wriggling or crawling and uh, not wearing a mask and not wearing your black onesie. Oh dear, how sad. Uh, previous hearings have heard that the female motorists driving at night reported to see the police seeing a man in a black costume. Uh, he had previously denied leaping out at the two women while dressed in a latex gimp suit. So you can see where the problem is. If they're driving a car and this guy jumps out like that in the car, could have caused an accident, could have panicked, could have caused an accident. So yeah, it is an issue and it is a serious one, that I will grant. But the wearing of the gimp suit, nah, not so much. Uh, at an earlier hearing, Hunt spoke only to confirm his name, address and date of birth. While wearing a... I've just seen what they're saying. They're very cruel to papers. They're very cruel people. Uh, while wearing a white shirt and brown trousers, the balding and bearded defendant shook his head to deny the two charges. Well, he's not going to admit them, is he? You know. uh, Robert Yates, prosecuting, told the court this is a case that had quite a complex history and it has been up to the Crown Court and come back and now the Magistrates Court in Bristol will have to deal with it uh, and it's on the 27th of October so I will definitely uh, be, be following this um, and I'll bring the results of that I, I'm wondering you see you can always deny it wasn't him because nobody saw his actual face so you know it, it's there so unless the police did a search and found a gimp suit uh, in, his, uh, in his house there's not really going to be a lot of proof is there It'll be interesting to see. Anyway, I will follow it and I will bring back and see what the uh, the result of that is. The result for the Somerset Gimp. Arr. Never mind. Going to come up, finish and round off the video. Now in the modern day, you know, you're not supposed to be able to complain about what people wear or what they look like and what bones they put through their bloody noses or, or pink hair and things like that. So appearances, you're not, you're not allowed to criticise. So I can't see why you'd criticise the guy for wearing a gimp suit, except laughing at it and going, whoa, you know, uh, he's obviously getting off on it. So I don't think that there can be a crime. I don't think wearing a gimp suit can be a crime. Maybe jumping out at people, yes, OK, I'll grant that. But the gimp suit itself can't be um, criminal. And even if you're wearing it in the street. Uh, during Covid, there was the guy who wore the big black leather coat, had the hat and had the old um, 16th century doctor's like beak mask, you know, the, the duck. And he was wandering around and scaring people. And he said, well, no, it's a, it's a, it's a tried and tested uh, method of ensuring public safety. He got away with it as well. They tried to ban him for being frightening. Uh, and he said, no, 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 it's perfectly normal. Perfectly normal. And he showed pictures historically of people wearing it to protect themselves from disease. He said there is, uh, in law, there is a, what's the word? Pre precedent. There is precedent. So, yeah, he was fine. He got away with it. It still didn't like, people didn't like seeing it. They thought it was a bit spooky. But, um doesn't matter you know you can wear it anyway um yeah well i, I, I don't know what that's going to go with it when it goes to court be interesting anyway i shall stop there thank you very much for watching this very strange video uh, i'd love to hear your comments on whether you think it's okay or not and uh, i do hope that you feel inclined to press the subscribe button which is always always helpful anyway leaving this weird video all alone i'll say thank you very much and until next time stay safe stay well and if you are going to wear a gimp suit, don't leap out on people. Bye.